This week, my Uncle Steve and Cousin Josh are traveling to Namibia in hopes of harvesting some plains game. This is my Uncle Steve's second trip to Africa, so let's see if he can do as good as he did last time. They have Mountain Dew with caffeine there? I have no idea what they have. They probably don't have Mountain Dew there, so. You'll be, you'll be drinking coffee. <laughs> in the jungle in there? We are just about ready to leave. We got a head for at the airport in Detroit, going to Namibia, and we're going to hunt with Gary Kelly again. Can't wait. We've been with him before. He does a great job. So we're going to have one more adventure with him, and hopefully all our flights work and we get there like we're supposed to. They got to camp early in the day, so they decided to take the rifles out and make sure they were shooting straight. My Uncle Steve was looking for an Oryx on this trip, so after shooting the rifles, they decided to go out and see if they could get an opportunity on a nice bull. Up here, we're gonna try to stock in on it, so hopefully it works this time. Now we got marks right in front of us, about 250 yards, and we're trying to see if there's a good bull in the bunch, so we'll see what happens. Once they found a nice bull, they decided to try and get a little closer and see if they could get set up. But unfortunately, when they got set up on this bull, he ran off. So they continued to find a nice bull. Finally, they found one and Steve got him in his sights. across this nice oryx. We've been chasing them all evening. Uh, we got on one group, wasn't anything really good in there, passed. Found another big bull and uh, the red artebeast chased him off, messed up everything. So we're just heading back in and this one was, we spotted this one and we got on it and uh, got a clean shot, kind of a quick shot. Everything was happening fast, but uh, got one in him, he went right down. And here's my first oryx. What a way to start off their hunt. Don't go anywhere, Big Boys TV will be right back. If you're just joining us, my Uncle Steve and Cousin Josh are in Namibia hunting planes game. They're traveling to a different property today, looking for black wildebeest, waterbuck, and the number one thing on my Uncle Steve's list, the eland. About an hour away to a different, kind of like a different little ranch. So they got a lot of animals and try to get a big eland out of it today. Maybe a water buck. <laughs> finally found the uh, lodge we're going to hunt at today and we got a little bit lost today so we uh, 
they had to turn around and uh, come back this way, but we're here now. And uh, they're pretty excited. They've got some really nice animals in this area. They're saying they've got some great uh, black wildebeest, some great elan, some big kudu, and uh, we're going to see if we can uh, put some things together this afternoon. If you have a choice between the, ble the bless or the, um, or the water buck, what would you take? Probably the water buck. <laughs> after talking with the guide, Steve decided to go after the black wildebeest first. Shaky. Just shot my first black wildebeest. Uh, he actually stood there and let me shoot. We've been chasing him for a while. And this one just stood right there. Got a perfect shot on dry. I mean, went 30 yards, fell over. After getting the black wildebeest back to the lodge, Josh decided to go after a water buck. Well, we're going down to see if we can find a good water buck down here in the water hole. We'll see a few of them from the distance. And see what happens. Look for, a Look for a monster and you drop it. Hopefully it pans out. Should. Even if a big kudu comes in, we're gonna drink, try to crank him. Taking naps? No, wait for things. Wait for things to happen. So far, the hunt has gone as planned, but things are just heating up, so don't go anywhere. Big Boys TV will be right back. Welcome back. So far, my Uncle Steve and Josh have had a pretty successful hunt with three animals down, but now Steve has decided to go after an eland. Now we're going out to look for a... Uh... <laughs> over now we're going out to look for an eland and a... Uh... Kudu for Joshua and a Joseph. A Joseph. Hello. Big Eland out here. We're gonna see if we can get on him. Hopefully.
tough as nails. Did you get some of that? <laughs> that is one tough critter. Oh my what gosh. What just happened? I just shot my first Elon, and it's just about dark. The sun's like barely sticking up over that mountain there, and uh, he's down. He just went down. They are big, tough creatures. But he's down, and it's my first Elon, and I'm shaking like a leaf. <laughs> but I was told by a couple of uh, guides that when I quit shaking, I need to quit hunting. So evidently, I'm so excited about it. So there's a little adrenaline fly in right now. Can you put the bullets in the clip? <laughs> But holy mackerel. Big bull? Yeah. Big bull. Tough bull. Very tough bull. Oh my gosh. Looks like a horse. <laughs> A big horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was awesome. That was awesome. Woo. I don't want to rip myself. Oh. There we go. Oh. 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 Just shot my first Elon. He's a big old boy. He, I, they're tough. I mean, I can't believe how tough these things are. Uh, I tell you to shoot him in the shoulder and they'll go down. He did, but holy mackerel, is he big. I didn't realize they're as big as this. They are huge. So we're having a great hunt. We've just been having a great day. Uh, we've got uh, three animals down. Josh shot an awesome water buck. I shot this guy. Just the uh, last light sun setting right now. You just barely see the sun over the mountain when I shot him. <laughs> what a great way to end the day. Stay tuned as the hunt continues next on Big Boys TV. Welcome back to our African adventure. We're here in Namibia and we're on our uh, fifth day and we're going out to look for a zebra and a kudu. And we're going to do different ranch this time so hopefully we can uh, hook up today and get these two animals wrapped up. As you can probably see, we have entered a different ranch and they got definitely more mountains and hills to it. We found some mountain zebras over to my right and we got some kudu behind me up on another ridge and we're trying to make a game plan how to do what we're going to do first and how we're going to do it. So hopefully we can get hooked up with a kudu and a zebra yet today. I'm honest of opinion that Kudu's a little bit more difficult than oh, zebras. Zebras are all over. So we try and go for the kudu first. Sure. You don't mind. No, I don't mind. Alright, we found some kudu up over the ridge. We'll see if we can put up a stock on them, see what we can do. Josh, how was that? shot me a really nice kudu. The trick is, I don't know how in a smack we're going to get him out of here. <laughs> Alright, guide. 
first shot missed, yeah. the second shot hit in the run. Wait, 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 wait. But congratulations. Thank you so much. Man, I'm shaking so bad. I can't believe I... I was... I know exactly I was, why I, I was I trying to uh, support him. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah. And it was like supporting the <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'll see when Heine gets here, it's not so much about the length, it's about the age. Yeah. The age is important. He's a beautiful animal, but he's got thick mass. And look at this, he's gorgeous. He's, he's, his horn tips are worn down. Well, Josh was able to take down an awesome kudu, and now Steve is going to go after the elusive mountain zebra. Starting our zebra stalk. We're down here in the valley. We've got a group of zebra down below us, but they're not uh, in range yet. We're trying to figure out how to stalk it out. just got my first mountain zebra. That's really cool. They are incredibly tough. Run around these mountains like nothing. I was pant like a dog. <laughs> we're going to another ranch today for our last day hunting and we're going to see if we can find an impala, a wildebeest, and a spring buck. Found some blue wildebeest over the hill here. Go we'll see if we can connect on a nice bull out of the group. That's how you do it. <laughs> Here he is. It's really nice bull. Real happy with it. What a great hunt for my uncle Steve and my cousin Josh. Make sure and catch us next week and keep up with us on Facebook, Instagram, and as always, bigboystv.com. Today, looking for wildebeest. Oh, Way to end. End the day. <laughs> Stay tuned. Yeah, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. As the hunt continues next time, we're Big Boss TV. Okay. This week, we're going to be showing you guys some essential things to pack when you're going on a hunt that consists of a lot of hiking or when you're just a long ways away from home. The three things that I find most important, along with some other things, are first aid, water, and fire. The things you should have in your first aid kit is sterilizing wipes, tape, gauze, and of course, bandages. What I use for water filtration is this Life Straw water bottle and it filters it right through this straw in here. And I also like to bring some flavoring packets for electrolytes. You should have at least three different ways to make a fire and I always have matches, a lighter, and a flint stick. Some other things that I like to pack are rain gear, a thermosel, a flashlight with some extra batteries, some survival rope, protein bars, and of course a knife. That was your tip of the week, what to pack on a hunt.